whether it be in my videos or um, somebody else's videos, I've been seeing a ton of comments lately saying, I can't catch fish like that because I can't afford baits like that. Or the only baits that I have are pieces of crap. So in today's video, we're gonna be doing something a little bit different to show you guys that you don't need a bunch of money for lures to catch fish. In this bag, I have some hand tools and uh, we're gonna be taking a piece of wood, just a random piece of wood, and we're gonna be making our own bait. And a piece of crap is exactly what we're gonna end up with. So, for this project, we're gonna be using just a random piece of wood. I found this a while back and I've basically been letting it dry for a little while. It's not completely dry because you have to like let it cure for a long time. I didn't do that. Box cutter, this is what I like. You can also use a uh, whittling knives or a pocket knife or whatever you have, it'll work. Some copper wire, I wanted stainless steel, they didn't have it. This copper wire is a little bit more flexible so hopefully that'll work, I don't know, but we're gonna try that. Super glue, wire snips, and a drill for the holes and also to twist the wire for the hook hangers and the line tie. You don't have to use this for that. You can twist it by hand, but I just want to do this. It's a little bit faster and hopefully it'll get it tighter because where I do have copper wire might help it out, might help the stability. I don't know, but we got a drill. And last but definitely not least is this little baggie that has like a pencil, a ruler, some sandpaper, you know, little things like that. That's all we need. And we're gonna carve a piece of crap lure out of a piece of wood and hopefully catch some fish. So you guys stay tuned. Don't forget to leave a like, drop a comment down below. If you're not subscribed, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. It helps me out a ton. If you wanna help me out a little bit more, be sure to watch these videos all the way through. First of the day, popping up on the screen right now. Take a second, meditate on the word, and let's get to carving. All right, so this next little bit is gonna be uh, really tedious and just chipping away at some wood and getting a, a rough shape. So I will probably go ahead and put that in time lapse and I'll see you guys when we get like a decent shape of what we're trying to go for. Okay, so about an hour and a bunch of these guys later, and this is the shape that we have, which it's not finished. It's not even close to being finished, but it is at the point to where we can start putting into some detail. So, you know, it didn't take too much time to get to this. Pretty happy with the way it's looking. These little things that were in the wood look pretty sweet, but I am gonna be painting over this. Cool. Let's get back at it. So we got the first little bit of detail in here. I'm just sanding, trying to make it a little bit more smooth, you know, easier workspace here. Um, it's definitely gonna be a fun project. When we get back to sanding, I'm just using a pen wrapped in some uh, sandpaper. If I'm not mistaken, this is one, yeah, this is 180, 180 grit. I'm just trying to get as best as I can. So I'm just gonna keep doing this. I really like the way this wood grain is and like the little spots. It looks awesome. But I'm just gonna keep doing this and I'll get back to you guys when I have something else to talk about. The beauty of this lure that I'm making now is because of what it is, it doesn't have to be perfectly symmetric. Like I can kind of shy away from using like uh, rulers and straight edges and stuff, making it perfect. I don't have to do that. 
The reason that I'm doing this type of lure though, it's gonna be a top water plug, like a walking bait. The reason I'm doing that is because they're one of the easiest to make. You don't have to put lead in the belly, so it, it'll float. As long as it's not like a really dense wood that wants to sink, it'll float. And that's, that's all you need. The hook hangers and the hardware and stuff should be enough to hold it upright in the water. And just like that, within an hour, we have a turd. Um, this is legit going to be a turd. I'm going to be fishing with a topwater turd. All that's left to do now is I got to drill the holes for the hardware. I got to seal it. I have to paint it. And then I got to make the hardware and put it in there and then go catch a fish. That's literally all we have to do. I was gonna finish the entire thing today because as you've seen, it didn't even take a full hour to go from a whole big round piece of stick to this. Uh, but yeah, that's all, that's all we got left. We have a, a tiny little, tiny little turd. Let's see how, how long this bait's gonna be. Can't find my tape measure, but this will work just fine. This is going to be a huh, right on the dot it's five inches I don't know if you guys are gonna be able to see that or not but it's like five inches on the dot so this is gonna be a five inch topwater walking turd I'm pretty I'm I'm pretty excited about this one um, I think I'm gonna let my wife paint it because she does crafts and stuff that's that's what she does and I know that she would enjoy painting it, but this is going to be a fun one. So I guess as of right now, before we leave, because uh, we actually have to head out for a little while, that's why I'm not finishing it. I'm going to seal it with super glue, which basically means put super glue on it and then rub it in. That seals the wood really well. I learned that from Marlin Bates. Um, I'm just going to seal it and then... I might drill the holes. I don't know. I might wait wait till later to do that. Um, I think I'm just gonna let her paint it and stuff off camera, and uh, but then whenever it's done, I'll get back to you guys and uh, we will clear coat it with something and then put the hardware in and go fishing. You guys stay tuned. She's sealed. Now we just gotta sand it smooth. Okay, so we took a small break. Uh, we actually had to go out, pick up a few things, and uh, we just now got back. It's kind of late, as you can probably see, but this thing is sealed up, sanded, and ready for paint. But before we paint it, we're gonna go ahead and put the hardware in. Pretty much what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this drill, I'm gonna drill holes where I want the hardware and for the uh, line tie, and then I'm going to take this wire and wrap it around something and then attach the wire to the drill and spin it until it coils up enough to be a little bit more sturdy and create the line tie. Then I'm going to super glue them in and we should be good to go. So let's do that. Also, be careful when you're drilling, especially if you're holding it because, you know, you don't want to drill to the hand or something. I'm probably going to set it down and do it off camera just because it'll be easier for me. I don't know, but I'll see you guys when I get the hardware in. So, it's the next day. Dogs are going nuts, so I apologize for that. But just as I thought, the uh, copper wire wasn't strong enough. So, after I got it glued in and set, I could pull on it and it would bend. And I just didn't want to risk it breaking if I did hook a fish or when I hook a fish. So... I went out today and I looked around everywhere. Nobody has wire. Nobody has what I need. And uh, the only thing I could find are these little screw eyes. And these are the smallest ones I could find. And they're still a bit big, but we're going to have to use it and just make it work. The only thing that I don't like about them is they're really short. And that's not really going to have a ton of space to hold on to. But, you know... We're gonna we're gonna work with what we got. So I'm gonna go ahead and 
get the hardware in and then I'll do another sanding and then we'll be ready for paint. Let's do it. Got this far and the one thing that I'm uh, struggling with is these are the only hooks and little tiny split rings that I have and while it will fit over those it is uh, a really tight fit and I was just trying to get this one on there and I ended up hooking myself past the barb. Um, but it, it came out pretty easy because when it kind of went in, it kind of split my skin a little bit. But now i got to figure out how to get these on here without ruining the split rings. Because I don't have one of those little split ring tools. I don't know. So, those little uh, split rings are way too small. Um, my father-in-law actually found this bait that I gave him a long time ago. And even though it's only got one treble, it does have... A split ring right here and a split ring right there and they're way bigger and they'll work way better so I'm gonna take them off of this and put them onto that yeah we got the hardware on we're getting there we're getting there it is the next morning obviously and uh, we finished the bait I'm here at dad's he's getting ready we're gonna go to the dump and try to catch some fish last time we were there the water was so low it looked more like a field than a pond but we've had like three solid days of rain so we're gonna go try it again but we finished the bait we started with a stick we trimmed it down to size with a box cutter we sanded then we put in some detail we sanded some more then we drilled the holes we sealed it with super glue. Then we sanded some more. And after that, we put in the screw eyes that I bought. We painted it, or my wife painted it. And then we put a clear coat on it. And now it's finished. So, ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the number two. So obviously the number two is a topwater turd. Um, my wife is responsible for the paint and the name. She actually named it. We were talking about names and uh, we were just having fun with it and laughing. And I asked her what the number should be, like uh, how some baits have numbers, like the Whopper Plopper 75. And I said, what number should it be? And she said, number two, and then started laughing. So we stuck with that as the actual name. So it's called the number two. Um, I mean, it <laughs> It looks like a topwater turd. And the whole point is to show you guys that you don't need some expensive, you know, fancy bait to catch fish. This is a topwater walking bait. The looks of baits are for the fishermen. The action is for the fish, for the most part. Um, I did sign it on the bottom, and I did it that big intentionally because this is a big brown bait. So I put... A lot of white on the bottom that way the fish might have something that they can key in on um, if you think about topwater baits like spooks and other walkers a lot of them are either completely white or they have a lot of white on them because it gives the fish something to to chase after um, this was a super cool super fun project I definitely plan on making more probably not another turd but <laughs> more lures in general because it was it was an absolute blast now before we do get going i'd like to say the price because obviously it's not free you have to get this stuff to make it but the only thing that i bought to actually make this and actually used are these little screw eye things and the hooks and the clear coat that's it but for the sake of the video, I'll tell you what all of the stuff that I bought cost, even the ones that I didn't use because I had some laying around, like the little uh, split rings and stuff. So all together with the stuff that I bought to make this lure, I spent like $10. But you got to keep in mind, I can make about 10 lures with all of that stuff. So this came out to be a dollar or less for this one lure which is pretty sweet so you don't have to have a ton of money just uh, a little bit of time 
a little bit of creativity and you know just have fun with it and you can make yourself a bait it doesn't have to be a topwater turd it can be anything you want it to be but today we're going to use a topwater turd me and dad's going to get the kayaks up on the truck we're going to head to the dump and we're going to catch a bass on a piece of poop let's do it So we made it, we're uh, in the dump and as you can tell, it's nothing but grass. Uh, the water didn't come up at all. It's a thousand degrees as you can probably tell, but it is supposed to be overcast all day. So we may still have a chance. I had this big old mamma jamma tied on and it's not as heavy as you would think. It's actually pretty light, but it was really hard getting in here because this is all mud because where it's so low the water is usually up there that weed line and now it's way down here but we're gonna we're gonna give it a full send we're gonna try our best to catch some fish i still brought a jig and a, a weedless wacky rig and hopefully we'll be able to get something done you guys stay tuned moment of truth look at that just just look at that big thing just look at that big turd <laughs> She definitely floats. Oh. <laughs> the action on this thing is crazy. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if you guys can see that, but this thing walks better than better than the walking bait that I have. Man, if this was a better day for topwater. Oh, wow. I cannot believe how good that action is. Is it not crazy? Listen, that's going to be so rewarding, catching a fish on that. So this is the first spot that I see that really doesn't have like grass everywhere. It's kind of open. I don't know if the fish are gonna be out here, but we're gonna give it a try. It just got smoked. It just got smoked. It just got smoked. The turd just got smoked. Man, this grass is ridiculous. I can't even paddle through it. Unfortunately, the dump was a bust. Um, about 10 minutes in, I got that one explosion, but nothing after that. I just couldn't fish where I needed to fish. There was way too much grass. They were biting. Dad caught five. Um, we only fished there maybe two hours, if that. But I just, I, could, I couldn't get the number two where I needed to get the number two. So we decided since it's extremely hot and there's way too much grass to even fish there and the fact that we heard thunder, um, we decided to uh, head to a spot in the river because smallies are a little bit more aggressive and uh, hopefully we can get one of these bronze backs to eat a turd you guys stay tuned i think you guys might be able to see the action here a bit better than when i was at the lake this thing walks like a dream walking turd walking turd need to catch a fish i'm a walking turd How funny would it be if someone came by and asked me what I was fishing with and I just held this out like poop, a 
turd. <laughs> I can't get over this thing. I'm actually super surprised on how well it works. I know I've probably said that a million times, but I just can't, I can't get over it. it it's so good. Oh, he hit it. You guys might have even seen that. There we go. No, no.